What's up Amazon sellers? If you want to learn how I made $300 in pretty much one hour by selling on Amazon, stay tuned because I'm going to share with you the business model, what I'm doing, how I save money and how I do it remotely here in Mexico. Stay tuned. All right, guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson. I've been selling on Amazon now for pretty much the last five years. Now, in the UK, we've done seven figures on selling. That was just last year. Check this out. I'll drop it up there. And then, obviously, in the USA, we also just started last year. We're now up to six figures. Check this out. I'll drop it up there. If you want to learn more and obviously see how I'm doing it, do make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's going to be down below. It's going to notify you when I release more videos. But, obviously, let's keep going. Right, so let's give you a bit of a rundown of what we're going to go through to today. So first things first, number one, I'm going to give you an overview of, you say, the business model of what I'm doing. Number two, I'm going to talk about how I actually made that $300 of sales on Amazon. Number three, I'm going to talk about why do I love this business model and obviously share that with you. And finally, number four, I'll share some top tips with you that are going to help you out if you are thinking about doing this as well. So let's get started. So first things first, number one, let's give you a bit of an overview of the business model that I'm actually using using. So believe it or not, I didn't actually have to go to the actual store and buy the products in person. I just went to a website and I brought the products online and then sold it through the Amazon marketplace, which made me the $300 in sales. Now, you might be asking, what business model do I use? Well, quite simply, I'm doing what's known as online arbitrage, whereby the goal is to buy low online and then resell high for a profit on Amazon. Now, to explain this further, I'll be sharing with you a quick overview of the step-by-step -step process of doing Amazon online arbitrage. Step one, source products online at a low price from suppliers such as, should say, Walmart, and then list them on Amazon. Number two, once you've got them listed, the supplier is then going to ship those items or those products to your house or your prep center, or see my house or my prep center. Now, number three, we're going to inspect those goods once they've been received. We're then going to put them those goods into a box and create an Amazon shipment and get that box labeled along with the products that are going to get shipped, obviously, to Amazon, which leads me nicely on to step four. We're actually going to ship those products from my house or my prep center into Amazon themselves. Now, step five, Amazon is going to receive those products and it's going to store them in their FBA warehouses. Now, step six, a customer is going to buy my products online, which are obviously sat in the Amazon warehouses. Step seven, Amazon is going to pick, pack and ship those products to that customer. And then step eight, we're going to wait for about 14 days once that product sold that Amazon's holding our money and then they're going to release that money to us. And we're going to get that into our bank account and obviously repeat the process. Now, if you want to get some detailed steps about the whole process, what I'll do is I'll drop a video up above called How to Make Money on Amazon FBA Explained in 10 Minutes, where I go through it in a lot more detail and you can do that. So check that out. Now, after understanding the business model, you might be asking how much we're making on Amazon Arbitrage. Well, like I said earlier, we've been selling on Amazon now for five years and I started in the UK marketplace. Now, which I'm proud to say in the UK, we made over two million pounds in sales in 2021 alone. That was just last year. Now, considering the opportunity you know, I've seen in this marketplace, I also as well grew my business and started opening an account in the USA, which is now doing over 300,000 in sales over pretty much the last nine or 10 months. Now, with that all said, nothing is impossible on Amazon. So long as you're willing to put in, should we say, the hard work and you know, just the, the perseverance, you can really achieve great things. So if you are interested in making money online, stay tuned because I'm going to share with you the story of how I made over $300 in sales, obviously in today's video. Okay, so today I'm talking about making money online. Let me know if you've tried to make money online and if so, how? Drop it in the comments down below. I'm interested to know, have you tried Amazon or maybe another business model? Let me know how it's been. And if you've been successful as well, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so this leads me nicely on to talking about how I actually made that $300 by selling on Amazon. So you might be wondering, is it even possible to make $300 in sales on Amazon? Well, in this chapter, I'm going to share with you first things first, one product that I sold, which allowed me to make over $300 in sales. Number two, I'm going to break down those numbers, i.e. how much I bought of it, the discount I got, and obviously how much profit I made from that product as well. Number three, I'm going to talk about what 
what sourcing method I use, actually how I found it. And then finally, number four, I'm going to talk about what I do to reduce the cost of my goods and obviously to make sure that I maximize the profit. So let's talk about it now. Now, this chapter is going to be, should we say, quite long. And what I will say is knowing these things now that I'm going to talk about are going to give you an idea behind the whole business model that I'm doing, that I'm operating. It's just going to help you understand. OK, so first things first, you might be asking, what is the actual product that I actually sold on Amazon? Well, quite simply, it's a pure nature Zircommune capsule. And I think I said that right. Now, basically, I purchased six items and I got them for $21.60 per bottle. Now, the one thing you can see is this product originally cost $59, but because we're buying six bottles, we were able to get them for $24. Now, in addition to that, we got an additional 10% discount on the total price, which means arrived at $21.60 for the total buy price. Now, for me, this was a really good deal. Why? Because the product was selling around $40 to $50 on Amazon when we purchased it at that time. That was what it was selling for. Now, given our buy price, if we were looking to sell this product to $50, then we'd probably be making a profit of around about £28.40, which is fantastic. Now, also as well, if we sold it at $40, we'd then make a smaller profit, but still pretty good, of $18.40, which is, you know, the $40 is pretty much the lowest price it's been selling on Amazon. So we feel pretty confident about this product. Now, the second thing I'll do is I'll give you a breakdown of the numbers of the calculation. So to give you a breakdown of these numbers and how much profit they made, what I'll do is I'll begin with, should we say, the cost of goods. And like I said earlier, we ordered six of these bottles from Pure Nature and they cost us $129.60. Yes, $129.60, not $144. Why? Because we had that 10% discount that we put onto the purchase price, obviously, when we bought the product. Now, what I'll do is I'll share an overlay around here, which will show you the cost of goods of the two items sold. As you can see, sell a toolkit right now, which is a bit of software we use to help us do our profit and loss and our calculations. It shows that two of these products right now, the cost of goods is $45.20. So basically, what does that mean? $22.60 each per item. Now, you might be asking, why $22.60? not 21 and 60 cents. Well, that is because we have what's known as an additional fee, which is our warehouse prepping, inspecting, and getting those products shipped into Amazon. And that's gonna be $1 we add onto that product. Hence why it's now 22.60, not 21.60. So just to bring it back, we paid 129.60 for six bottles, including the shipping and prep from our supplier. And that's the prep center. And we got them each for 21.60. And then obviously including prep is 22.60. And now we sold them on Amazon for $50 each. And that is including all the Amazon fees. So after going through what the business model I used and the breakdown of the numbers, and actually how much you know I made from it, let's talk about how I found that product in case obviously you are interested as well. So basically the first shoe thing we did, which is called us, how we find it is called a sourcing method. Now the sourcing method I use for this, as we say, this process was called manual sourcing, whereby I go through different websites, you know, we find products to resell. So what I'm gonna do or what I did is go to the Pure Nature website, then I'm gonna go through the offers section and I'm gonna manually check each individual product and I'm gonna check that versus the same product on Amazon. So I'll take one product, for example, I'll go find exactly the same product on Amazon and once I found them, I'm then gonna take the buy price from obviously the supplier website, I'll put it into Amazon's website and with a calculator tool, and I'm gonna see how much profit and ROI and how many sales I'm gonna make from that product if I were to buy it from the seller, the supplier, and resell on Amazon for a profit. Now, it sounds simple, but this is also a really time-consuming process because there are times when, you say, you just get no deals from doing it from certain websites. And it's also gonna depend on market conditions, i.e. if the supplier has a sale. Now, if you want to learn more about, should we say, manual sourcing and all the different sourcing techniques, then what I'll do is I'll drop a video up above called Manual Sourcing Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. Check that out. That's going to talk to you more about sourcing processes and what to do. Now, what I will say is that if you want to try different, should we say, ways of sourcing to find more profitable products, then you might want to try a sourcing method number two, which is called reverse sourcing. Basically, this is a way of sourcing manually, but difference in the way that instead of beginning at the supplier, and then finding the Amazon product that matches. Instead, now we start at Amazon, finding a product we like the look of, and then we go find a supplier for it. Hence the reverse 
sourcing methodology name. Now for me, using this method helps you find profitable products because you are directly sourcing on Amazon, or should say investigating first on Amazon, checking the products that are already selling well, making sure that we can find products we can sell, and also maybe lower competition. And then once you've found that, we then go and find a product that we're looking to buy, or should say the supplier for us. Now, if you want to learn more about the reverse sourcing, what I'll do is I'll drop a link above called, to a video called Reverse Sourcing Step-by-Step -step Tutorial. Check that out that I like. Now, this leads me nicely onto my next question. What did I do to reduce my cost of goods? What I want to do now is share with you two things which should help me save time and money. And these are quite simply voucher codes and a prep center. Now, finding products that are profitable is a good thing, but getting it at a much lower price is a much better option. Why? Well, because getting discounts on your online purchase makes for a much better ROI. Hence why it makes you more money and you know what? We're all here to make money. So you might want to consider using vouchers, which are, as you say, codes which are offered to customers as a purchasing incentive that reduce the price of the goods down and create special offers for an order. Now, what I will say is that there are voucher codes that will work on normal prices, but also as well, that can work on already discounted products. Now, if you can find voucher codes which will work on already discounted products, then it means that you are more likely to find products that are, should we say, are gonna be profitable. So think about finding, should we say, a product whereby it's already discounted. Let's say, for example, it was $59, now it's 24. Now you can add a voucher code on top of that, and oh my God, you are gonna be getting so much more profit out of that product, and it's gonna give you a much better ROI or return on your investment. Now, if you want to learn more about voucher codes, what I'll do is I'll drop a link up above called Voucher Code Sourcing, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Check that out. I think you'll really like it. Now, what I will say is aside from, should we say, saving money, what you want to think about also is well saving time. By saving time, you can focus on things which are going to help you grow your business. And the one area that I think you can really grow your business and save time is using a prep center. Now, if you paid attention to what I said earlier, I don't go to the physical stores, nor do I physically touch or even see my products. You know, since I'm traveling the world and right now I'm in Mexico, all of my products are purchased and handled and shipped to my prep center which just handles the products for me. And that is very, very practical. So you might be asking, what is a prep center? Well, quite simply, a prep center is a third party shipping and fulfillment service whereby inventory is stored, inspected, stored and consolidated and shipped out again before delivering them to the Amazon FBA warehouses. Now, basically a prep center is gonna receive your product from the supplier, they inspect it, they remove any labels and then they consolidate and pack those items into boxes and arrange the shipping into your out, or should say in the Amazon warehouses on your behalf. And also as well, they can do it to pallets as well. Lots of different options. Now, a prep center can help save you more time for your business. And since you're going to be making this time back, you also can spend that finding more products and making more profit. Now, the one thing which I'll show for you is obviously the prep center, we talked about it earlier, we're pretty much paying about a dollar per item. We added that into the cost of goods, but you might ask how much does it get from the prep center to Amazon's warehouse themselves? Well, interesting enough, that's a UPS and Amazon negotiate a great discount with them. So for us, for those six items, the estimated shipping cost, and I'll show it around here, was $6.37. So that is a cost that we incurred to get it from our prep center to Amazon tiny in the grand scheme of things and considering how much profit we made. Now, having all of these in mind, making $300 in sales is possible on Amazon and it's just a matter of working smarter, i.e. using different sourcing techniques or methodologies as well to help you find you know, profitable deals, using voucher codes you know, to save more money and also a prep center to save you time and also means that you're not having to be there to you know, inspect, label and ship your products on. Okay, right guys, just taking a moment now to make some coffee. If you know me, I love my coffee. Now, the one thing which I'm going to say is if you are thinking about getting started on Amazon, do check out the Fast Track FBA Express course. This is a free seven day course I put together, which is going to support you in fully understanding everything you need to know about getting your account set up and also starting to source products, buy them, ship them to Amazon and make your first sale hopefully within seven days. Check it out. I'll drop a link down below. It's a Fast Track FBA Express course. I think you'll love it. But for me right now, time to make some coffee. Okay, so this leads me nicely onto why do I love this business model? Now, what I will say is doing online arbitrage, selling on Amazon, you know, not only means you make money, but also it's got lots of other benefits. So let me share with you some of them now. First things first, I do have to say the money side, the business itself is profitable. Not only that, the fact that you can do it remotely. But these are things which I think you kind of already understood from what I've talked about earlier. So let's go through some other things that maybe you don't really understand or maybe you don't know about. First things first, reward points. Now look, when using a credit card for purchase, 
purchasing, you are also earning points. Basically, the more Pumchi Day purchasing you make, you know, using your credit card, the more points you're going to make. Now, those credit card points can be converted into rewards. And in my case, recently, I've traveled first class from Mexico City to London and back again. And that whole trip, you know, that was BA first class transatlantic, was £642. That's like nothing. Now, it did have, you know, for me, it had some points I had to use on that, but that is a £10,000 flight, which I got for less than $1,000. Super happy. Now, the sweet part of this is I also managed to check into, as you say, five star hotels using the credit card points. And I've even got upgrades as well. And that all came from buying products to resell on Amazon, which in themselves made a profit. And then I got the points as well. Now, with that being said, I use my credit cards on purchasing large volumes of products online and, you know, getting lots of points with these rewards or should getting lots of points with these purchase means I'm getting much, much better rewards. Now, the second one I'll talk about is cashback. Now, the way it works is that when you buy online, you're going to be purchasing using your credit card and that credit card could give you rewards or cashback, which is great. But in addition to that, there are, should we say, other websites that are like Top Cashback, Quidco. They all allow you to, should we say, get additional cash back on top of that as well. Now, for me, in my business, you know, the amount we're buying regularly, we're making over a thousand pounds, if not multiples of that every single month, sometimes more than I'm getting paid. And, you know, that cash back along with the credit cards and the points really, really adds up. Now, if you're interested in learning about the cashback side, what I will do is I'll drop a video up above about a video I created called 1000 pounds free cashback. You know, it's my cashback website that I use. Check that out. I think you'll really like that. And that pretty much pays for a trip to Vietnam. I know, amazing. Now, this leads me nicely onto my fourth chapter, which is about my personal thoughts behind selling on Amazon. Now, the one thing which I'll say is right now, you might be watching this entire video going like, it's all roses. It's a business at the end of the day. It really is. And this is hard work. You know, hopefully you kind of picked it up. I've been doing this for five years. Yes, we've done two million pounds, but I do have a team of like 12 VAs I'm working and I started this on my own. So I think while you might be looking at all of this and saying it's great is to say, this is the opportunity. This is where you can get to. But also just be very mindful. It is a business. It does take hard work, it takes dedication and you have to know your stuff and obviously keep learning and improving. You know, you are dealing with tens, hundreds, if not millions of pounds worth of cash and stock, you know, across the year. And you've got to be good at that. I see so many people who think it's a get rich quick scheme and it is definitely not. Please be aware that this has taken me five years to get where I am. And regularly I'm doing 12, 15 hour days when I first started to get here. Now it's a very different proposition, but I don't know any job in the world where after five years you can start traveling the world remotely earning money and obviously living a great life with the opportunity to maybe even double your payroll in the next 12 months. So that is something which I think is amazing, but also as well, it does take hard work, dedication and a lot of grit. But I think with that aside, and I would just say it again, there is no job in the world where I think you can start earning six figures and then look to say next year, I want to start earning seven figures in profits. That does not exist. You cannot do that. It's only through running your own business can it happen. And I do generally believe Amazon is a great opportunity and it's only getting bigger as well if you're willing to put in the hard work. Now, what I will say is after understanding how to make, should we say $300 and like what I talked about here in you know, buy selling on Amazon, you might want to consider watching a playlist we created called Amazon Arbitrage for Beginners. And I'll drop it around here, check that out. Obviously that's going to help you if you want to get started in this model. But what I will say is hopefully you like this video. If you have, give me a big thumbs up and hey, hit the subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.